okay, we're back. <laughs> All right, I knew that was gonna happen. And that darn thing, it says again that I can't start the live video and yet I'm doing it and you guys are all on before. So, okay, I'll give you guys just a sec. I've got the host code right here. Uh, so the 7QNZD3YV is our host code for the month of April. So make sure if you put an online order in, you're gonna use that host code when you order. Okay, good. So you guys are popping back on. Sorry about this. This is so frustrating. Facebook is all, it's just glitchy sometimes, right? I shouldn't say always because generally it does a good job, but every once in a while. So, okay. All right. I'll wait a sec for you guys to pop back on. Like I said, um, let's see, what can I do while we're waiting here? Um, actually, I will go ahead and show you guys. These are the scrapbook pages. You know what we'll do? Let's kind of flip. I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is the demo design dream team PDF tutorial for April with the scrapbook page theme. So I'm just going to kind of flip through these just so you guys can see. We've got um, all of these different two page layouts and then you can see kind of all of the detail that is given, right? These are my pages. I'll show you these in just a sec. Um, but you, you could like literally recreate all 16 of these two page layouts with all of the detail. They give you all the products, all the item codes, everything that you need to create these page layouts are all in that PDF tutorial. Again, this you can get for free with a $50 order anytime in April. Okay, you guys are coming back on. Thank you, sorry about that. I know that was such, very annoying. <laughs> okay, it is what it is though, right ladies? Okay, so these are, this is my two-page layout that I shared um, with everyone on the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to kind of open. Will you guys be able to see? I think we're a little bit off. But so there's one page, and then there's the other page featuring the, is it the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper? I think it is. Beautiful paper. Okay, you guys are popping back on. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> How frustrating. But okay, I'm glad you guys are finding it again. Okay, so scrapbook pages. I'm also going to show you guys my class to go. So what do we have? These four cards. I'll kind of flip through. I'll show you guys. These are the cards for the Hey Sports Fan class to go. I'm trying to make sure I have everything here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the four cards that we make in this class to go. We always make four cards and then you get uh, all the parts and pieces for two of each of them, okay? So you get lots and lots of fun cards. We've got this, hey, you're amazing, most valuable dad. You're out of this league, right? Um, number one, that's a home run and hope your day is a grand slam. All right, I have to keep turning sideways because um, the... Yeah, you guys are not sideways though. Okay, it's just the messages are. Okay, all right, everybody's popping. Hello, Susie, thanks for joining us. Okay, so there's the class to go for the month. Again, four cards, two of each of them. Option number one includes the stamp set and the dies. You also get full bolts of the Fan Baker's Twine, a full package of the Resin Star embellishments, and let me make sure I say this right, a, yes, a half a pack of the Hay Sports Fan Designer Series paper, which you're going to use on your projects. This is so much fun. This paper is awesome, awesome, awesome paper. Okay, um, so option number one, you actually get, what are you getting for free this month? Oh, you actually are getting the half a pack of Designer Series paper for free in option number one. Um, option number one is $76. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and dies, don't order. Option number two, if you don't have the stamp set and dies because you need it to do your stamping and your die cutting, you're going to get the resin star embellishments, the fan baker's twine, and the half a pack of designer series paper, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put all of these projects together, right? Option number two is $36. And then option number one and option number two, if you need them shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. If not, if you're local, we can waive that shipping fee and just go with porch pickup and there's no charge for that. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. You're gonna just do it all on your own, which is great if you're able to do that. Um, option number two, PDF tutorial is 15, I'm sorry, option number three. It's $15 and it's actually free for anybody in my downline, any of my Inkspired Stampers can get the PDF tutorials for free every single month. And then 
option number four is also for my downline. They can get the make and takes all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards for just $12. And I give them the stars and the twine and the designer series paper, give them everything they need. They just need to get their stamps and dies to do their own stamping and die cutting, which of course they would want to do that through their own demo ID because then they get their uh, demonstrator discount as well. Okay, so RSVPs are due one week from today. So next Friday, April 29th is the last day to sign up for the Hay Sports Fan class to go. Okay, all right, we are ready to do our stamping. Yes, okay, I've talked about everything on my table here. I'm just trying to make sure. Okay, so let's get my paper. We are in. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. All right, need a quick sip of water. And let's see. Okay, I haven't, I don't think I've missed any comments, so we're all good. <laughs> mm. And I'm bummed because I lost some of you guys when we had to shut that off and restart. So hopefully um, you can all pop back on. If you're not able to right now, pop back on later and watch the rest because this is the fun part is showing you guys these cute projects that we are going to make today. So this is kind of a fun, um, I don't even know, what to, it's like a little slider envelope card. And so we've got the Hope Your Day is a Grand Slam. And then this is die cut right from the designer series paper. And then this little bit just slides right out with the happy birthday. And then you can write the rest of your sentiment in there. And I have to tell you guys, so I have gotten this swap card and I don't have the, um, I think it was probably in a little cello envelope and I don't have who designed this card. But basically this is what I, I was like, oh, this is such a cute thing, right? Um, and I loved it so much. So I was like, hey, I was actually going to give it to my niece for her birthday last weekend. And then I was like, oh no, I have to keep it <laughs> so that I can design another card. If I had been on top of things, I would have designed it beforehand. But I also wanted to show you guys too, because I thought it was such a cute little idea. So anyway, basically I cased the delay out and then kind of changed it up with what we've got going um, with this suite, the Your Biggest Fan suite of products. Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure I have everything here. Okay, we got all of our stamps. You can see I've been loving this Baker's Twine, right? <laughs> I think we used it at card class the other day too. Like, ooh, I need to get some more of that particular one. Okay, so I'm going to give you some measurements. I'm going to kind of jot it down here too. So we start with, this is kind of a Knight of Navy base, if you will that measures, oops, so this is now crooked. It's funny because it's crooked on the table, but it's not crooked when you guys are looking at it. <laughs> okay, so this measures five and one quarter by eight inches. And then along the bottom here, right along here, I scored it at a half an inch. And then along the side, I scored it at a half an inch and at four and a quarter inches, okay? So this is the idea. We're gonna fold this one in half, we're gonna fold this one, and then this is gonna fold up here. But I have my little, so I always like to do this like with paper. I wanna show you guys, so just like a little piece of scrap paper, right? But this is, isn't that funny? It almost didn't look like it was the same size, but it's because it's flimsy paper. Okay, so this is what you're gonna start with. Right, so let's just do, and then I'll give you some more measurements, okay? So we are gonna cut at an angle right along here. So here's our little half inch and then at an angle right there. And then we're gonna cut this one at an angle. And then we're actually gonna cut this whole piece off. We don't need this at all. It just would get in the way, make it too bulky on the bottom. Okay, so we're just gonna cut right along there, okay? So let's make sure I did that right, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that looks good. Okay, I have to have my little cheat things always. Okay, so there's kind of the base of what we're gonna work with. Okay, then we also have this designer series paper that's gonna go on the outside that measures three and a half by four and a half. Okay, and then we have a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock that also measures three and a half by four and a half, and then a piece of very vanilla cardstock that measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter. And as I'm thinking about it, just so you guys know, all of the directions, how to cut, score, um, dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know, uh, product codes, all of that so that you can order and recreate these things will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon too. Okay, I'll get that all uploaded after we are done with Facebook Live. 
Okay, and then these pieces are just some extras that we are going to use for the stamping and die cutting and so on, okay? All right, let me just make sure because those pieces look really similar. <laughs> yep, but those are the same. So we're gonna put those aside so we don't actually like die cut anything. And then this is the designer series paper. So we are going to use this little, that's a home run right here, or we could also use that, you're out of this league, either one, but it's fun because the dies, this little ticket guy right here, just fits right on there and we'll die cut that out, right? And then we're actually gonna use both of these guys for the rest of the card. Okay, so let's do our stamping on, I guess it's just this one, isn't it, right? So we're gonna do, hope your day is a grand slam. Okay, so we've got our ink, we've got our Poppy Parade ink that of course coordinates with our Poppy Parade cardstock. It's the beauty of Stampin' Up as always. Hello, ladies, everyone is back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Hope your day is a grand slam. All right, let's do our die cutting for all of these things. And then I'm gonna stamp around the edge of this afterwards. It was too hard to do it, uh, you know, beforehand. I wanted to be precise in is that, oh, it is. I'm like, it, it seemed crooked, like it was on something, but I couldn't see it was because it was a little baby stamp. Okay. Got this one too. Okay. So we'll do this one here. We just need that. And then we've got this one and this one. Okay. So we're going to do the Hope Your Day is a Grand Slam right there. We're going to turn that one sideways. Okay. So that everything should fit on here, right? Okay. So we've got that one right there. This is the one we've got to kind of move our paper so it fits on there. And then as long as that's on the cardstock, we're good to go there. Okay, so we're just gonna crank our handle. Sorry, we're doing a little wiggle in here for a sec. Ooh, it's like super wiggly today. There, okay, sorry, hopefully no one's seasick there. But isn't this so, I love, <laughs> I just love that die. There's something about that little ticket that I think is just so cute. Okay, and then we've got this one, the Hope Your Day is a Grand Slam, and then we'll stamp around the edges of that one. And then one more, this is kind of a cool little ticket piece also. Isn't this just fun, like all the detail on there too? Okay, so I think we've got everything there. So we are going to, my little scrap piece. So I wanna stamp around the edges of this with my Knight of Navy ink. So this is kind of just like the little, I don't know, water splotches almost, smudges. And I'm gonna kind of flip this stamp around so it doesn't all look the same everywhere I do this. I think I want one more there, there. Okay, then we also want to stamp our happy birthday. We're gonna do that. You can kind of see right up in that top section of this very vanilla piece. So we're just gonna stamp happy birthday right there. Okay, I think that is all we're gonna do for our stamping. Okay, so now we can kind of put things together here. Um, let's see, I want this guy right here. Did I not bring my adhesives over? I'm looking, I'm like, I don't, I don't think I have them. <laughs> okay, one sec, I need to go grab my adhesives. I'll be right back. I was working with them last night and I forgot to bring them over when I was done. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Seal Plus on this envelope because I need it to be a little bit stronger so that everything stays together. So we're gonna run adhesive here and here, and then we're gonna fold this in, and then we're gonna fold that up, okay? So we're gonna do this one first, again with our Seal Plus. So we really want it to stick. And then we're gonna do this one right here too. And if you get it on the edges, I found if you just kind of curl it back up, actually this one's gonna go this way, isn't it? So we're gonna just lay that one down right there. And you almost want it to like, 
pocket open just that little bit, just so you've got a little bit of room for the other pieces to slide in. So we're gonna just press really firmly there, okay? Then we are going to add this piece of designer series paper. So run it, tip it back, and run it and tip it back. I don't think we need that guy anymore. We're gonna put this. It looks like old pants, doesn't it? Right, this little pinstripe on our designer series paper. Okay, so there's that one there. Then we are going to add some adhesive. Oops, now I gotta move that one out of the way. <laughs> it's not really a big deal, but that will definitely stick very well on there. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece right here, and we're gonna put, let's just add this one right here too. Okay, this one's gonna go, oops, on our piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. That's gonna go on the inside in a moment. We're gonna finish with the outside first. So I've got this one and then this one, and I wanna put some dimensionals on the back of these guys. Okay, so we've got those there. And let's see, I wanna put them on the bottom. So I've got room for that, and I'll explain that in just a sec too. Okay, so we're gonna just pull the backs of our dimensionals off. Let's see, we've got some comments. Oh, oh, when you came back, you are sideways. Oh, isn't that weird? Because um, it looks like on my camera screen that I'm not. So that's why the comments are sideways then. Okay, well, thanks, Sharon, for letting me know that. Okay, so today's just kind of one of those um, fluky, um, almost but not quite kind of <laughs> kind of days that we're just kind of going with. So hopefully you guys can all kind of get the idea of what we got going here. So sorry about that. I don't know. I don't even know what happens with Facebook anymore. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to add a few stars, the little resin stars. And I'm just gonna, I just kind of sprinkle them around on my, um, on my page here, like on my little, wherever you like, just put a couple. I kind of went crazy on the last one. Oh, maybe we'll do one more. Kind of, I like these green ones too. Put one more there. There we go. Okay, so those are fun, the little resin star embellishments, huh? Okay, so now we are going to tie our ribbon. Actually, we're gonna kind of just wrap. This is the denim ribbon. We're just gonna kind of wrap this around here, and then we're going to tie our twine around, and that's gonna kind of hold it in place, and then it's also the little pull tab, if you will. Okay, so kind of lay that down there, and then we're gonna just kind of wrap, wrap this around and tie it in a bow. So you wanna do the knot first to kind of hold it in place. And you can see things are definitely moving, which is okay, because we're gonna kind of undo this, or at least just try to get it threaded back through there. You know, we laugh about this at our team meetings, how everything is so much easier. Um, <laughs> okay, come on, Dwine. Um, when you're not like doing a Facebook Live, like, you know, if I were just sitting doing this at my craft table, this bow would have already been um, done. <laughs> but because we're on the live and things are futzier, it makes it a little bit harder. So I'm trying to kind of hold this with my finger here. Okay, and then we're gonna make a little bow with our, this little, the red, the poppy parade and white twine. It's just my favorite. Kind of, kind of like, you know, it's the whole baseball theme, right? It reminds me of like a baseball game. Okay, so we're just gonna trim that. Okay, there we go. And then this just slides right inside there. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do my little punch. So I have my my retired three quarter inch circle punch. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to do that. I might not be able to, but yeah, cause that's gonna probably kind of get in the way. I think I'm not gonna be able to now, but that's all right. You, if you want to do that, you can. You can see this one obviously doesn't have it and it's still just as cute or there's this one. 
that does have the little. So either way, I think it, it's very cute, right? But I should have, before I put that on, if I could lift that up, that's how I punched that right there too. So either way, I think it's good. So we'll just leave that one for now though, since I forgot to do that. Okay, so there is project number one. Let's kind of let just get some of this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna clean these real quick. Oops, okay, so that looks a little bit wet. So we'll just kind of mop up some of the wet on that side. There we go. And we're just gonna kind of clean these little guys off so they're all ready to go. Okay, sides. I can't remember if I use any of these on my next card or not, but let's see. Actually, this one is kind of a fun little um, invitation, I guess. Yes, because I love, so this was more of the designer series paper. Um, and so we, we die cut this right out of designer series paper. So you could do like a little, you're, in, you're invited little invitation for maybe like a boy's birthday party. You can put some information right there. And then I did kind of include this little slider piece here too, that you could include more information on inside there as well. And I'm going to try not to forget to punch that before <laughs> I put things together this time. So, but again, featuring more of that designer series paper. Okay, so let's see, what do we need here? Oops, kind of getting everything. So yeah, you can see I've got <laughs> more of the navy and the um, emerald, what is that, evening evergreen? I have more of that paper, or, or twine, I guess I should say. And I used a lot of that red and white stripe, that is for sure. Okay, so I think we have everything we need here. Let me give you dimensions. I'm gonna take a peek at these also, right? Okay, everybody doing all right? Sorry about the sideways thing. That's probably a little bit annoying. Um, oops, I don't think that's extra. Okay, so we have a piece of, this is Knight of Navy cardstock that measures three and three quarter by 10 and one quarter inches. And then I scored it, you can't really even see it, but at four and three quarters of an inch. So that just folds up like that. Super, super simple, okay? This is the piece we're gonna die cut right out of the designer series paper, okay? Then, where is my project? <laughs> so I know what I'm doing here. Okay, pieces of designer series paper. This one's gonna fit right on the front there. This one measures four and five eighths by three and five eighths, okay? And then we have a couple more pieces of designer series paper. That one goes there and that one goes there and they're the same size. These two both measure two and one eighth by three and five eighths, okay? So we actually, on, we only have a tiny bit of stamping. We're gonna just do that on the inside with these pieces right here. Let me show you the dimensions of these. So we have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that measures four and a half by three and one quarter. And then the Very Vanilla measures four and three eighths by three and one eighth. So let's do our stamping right there. All right, I've got this one too, don't I? Right, okay. Um, so we've got our hooray, and then with the little stars, I'm going to stamp both of those. Scoot these. Okay, so we've got our Knight of Navy, hooray, right? And again, the Knight of Navy ink matches our Knight of Navy cardstock. Love, 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 love that. And then the stars, we're doing those. In Bumblebee, retiring, soon to be gone, retiring Bumblebee color right there. Okay, so let's put those back in there. We might as well just adhere this and get this part done right here, right? Okay, so that's just for the inside of our little invitation there, okay? Let's scoot those. And then I'm gonna have that in view so I know what the heck I'm doing, right? Okay, so we're gonna add this piece. Oh, this is fun too. So you can see, the, where's my, where are my dice? Right here. So that banner cuts out this thing right there. And then you can also add another little edge with the flags there too. There's a teeny tiny little banner, but that's kind of fun that I think this will cut out right out of your designer series paper. I love when they do that. Um, you know, that, cause I, it, it, when you look in the catalog and you think sometimes, how did they stamp that? How did they do that? And then you realize, oh, they didn't, it's right off the designer series paper. That's why it looks so intricate and detailed. Because sometimes, like I said, the stamping, I'm like, wow, that's like amazing stamping. How did they do that? And then come to find out they didn't, but that's fun too. Okay, so that piece goes there. And then this one's gonna go on the inside. Oops. 
going to put this one right along the inside there. Okay, so now I'm not going to forget. I have my two-inch circle punch, also retired, but if you still have your punches, I thought it was a little bit easier than trying to use a die. You certainly could um, use your circle dies also. So either way, I'm just going to punch that little guy, kind of a half moon shape right there, right? So that's going to go there. And let's see, let's do... Yeah, we might as well tie this twine, right? Let's do that. We're going to tie this around. So I used Knight of Navy twine, and I just tied it around um, like three times. Two and three, and there we go. Just to give it a little bit more, make it a little bit more substantial, right? Sometimes one little run of twine isn't enough, doesn't give me enough pop, I guess. So if you do a couple runs with the twine makes it a little bit more impactful okay so let me grab my scissors and snip that off okay now we just need to die cut this little piece from or we'll be using one of our dies which of course i threw in the other tub i think i have it right here okay so here we go All right, so again, this piece is just gonna fit right on there. So many images that you can cut right out of your designer series paper using those sports event dies. Okay, cranking, cranking, cranking. Let's see, have I missed any comments? I think we're doing all right. Okay, good. Okay, so then there we go. There's our little ticket, you're invited stub right there. Okay, so we're going to put some dimensionals behind this guy. Put a couple there and a couple there. And we're good to go. Okay. Actually, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I wonder if I can still do that. Let's see. <laughs> if I slide that up, I meant to staple and cover with designer series paper. Let's see if we can do this. I think I can probably get this pulled off because I tend to not press super hard, you know, just in case that sort of thing happens. Okay, so with just your regular old stapler, pretty close to the edge though, because you want to want things to be able to slide through and try to get it pretty even. Okay, and then, yeah, then you're going to cover it. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Phew. Okay, save the day on that one. And then we're just going to try. <laughs> if you kind of curl this, it'll make it a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, get that down in there. And then we're going to add this piece right here. This You're Invited. Okay, with our twine there. And then, of course, we have to add a couple more of our little resin star embellishments. Oops, we're gonna put one there. I'm gonna do maybe one up there and then one more little guy. Kind of fun, huh? And then one more right there. And then this piece just slips right inside there. And there we go. All right, and then that one goes right back inside that one. Perfect, huh? Okay, so, so cute. And you've got these great little invitations for, um, like I said, maybe like a little boy's birthday party or something. So, okay, as always, quick little recap for everybody. Wanna make sure you guys all know all the good stuff. Okay, so if you put an online order in of at least $30 through me using this host code, you're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the Kite Delight stamp set. And then if you bump your order up to $50 or more, you are going to get to choose from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment this month, month, which are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. 
Whoo! All right, you guys should see my table right now. We did it though. Okay, a little bit of wonkiness. Sorry for the craziness for, I don't know. I'm gonna blame it on Facebook. I don't know what's happening, um, but sorry we're sideways. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed these cards. If you want to get that class to go, I'd love to get you signed up. You could make these projects also super simple. You'd have everything that you need to do these as well. So thanks for watching. Bye everybody. We'll see you on our next Facebook Live.